So, Coach, uh, what are your initial takeaways from tonight's game? You know, uh, we struggled. Um, I thought both teams solid defensively, and, and just the the way the game was, it was extremely physical, which um, I thought was it was good. Um, you know, both of our percentages were really bad. They're very similar. If you look at UCLA um, from the field, thirty three percent. You know, we're thirty two. I thought both of us <laughs> struggled from the three point line. Um, you know, they shot more free throws. Um, I think that was one of the biggest differences. But I felt like. The rebounding at times, like it's, I know it's, they were only plus six, but the times and manners they got them really, really hurt us. Um, I thought in the first half, especially they got all the 50, 50 balls. They got all, all those passion plays that we usually get. Um, I thought that we weren't strong with the ball, like off of rebounds and different things like that. We weren't, weren't able to finish with contact and, you know, Michaela, you know, 10 for 11 from the free throw line. I mean, she really, really hurt us. Um, she was really the only one scoring. Um, and, you know, like for me, an indication of the game in our offense was four assists on 18 field goals. And you're not going to win a lot of games like that. Um, so it was just UCLA played better than we did today. And um, they deserve to win. They're a good team. And then uh, every time you guys got down by one or two points, they were able to go on a run. Um, what what happened defensively there? You know, they hit some big shots. Um you know, I felt like when we made small mistakes, um, you, you know, we, we had a tough time with Owen Ware. I think, um, you know, Michaela was taking it coast to coast. We weren't stopping the ball. I, I felt like when they were isolating us, you know, and, and isolating her on the block or at the elbow, we weren't kind of smothering her like, like we should have. And she was really the only one scoring, um, you know, and, and they hit some big shots. Like we both were, I mean, there was one point, I think we went through a nine minute, 12 second scoring drought. And we have to be able to convert. We have to be able to be strong. And I thought we really had a tough time, um, you know, converting inside. Um, and, you know, they just, they played better than we did. I mean, if you look at both, both of the stars had 24 each. So Aerie 24, um, Michaela 24. But I, th I felt like they came up with big offensive rebounds, came up with big passion plays, and, you know, got to the free throw line more than we did. I think that was the difference in the game. Hi, Adia. Hi. Um, you guys were right in it at the very end. I mean, you came within two points and and then they, you know, Michaela answered with the uh, with that layup after Shana's and and that sort of that was sort of it. What you know, you never gave up no. in this game. You, you got down by 10 and it just sort of stayed there. Sort of what was going through everybody's mind when when you're at that point? when there's a little less than three minutes left and you start making that comeback? Well, we had to get stops and scores. I think, um, you know, a lot of times this game, you know, we always play in five minute segments. We call them wars. Um, the only war we won was the very last one. So I think that, you know, we weren't able to get stops and scores or if we got stops, we couldn't convert and score. I felt like we had crucial turnovers down the stretch kind of going in a lot of traffic we're flopping a lot uh, not holding our ground regardless if it was physical like we we like physicality but I thought we we had a tough time with that um you know when we did something good like Shana drives and we give up another basket when we're in a deficit like we can't play like that we have to get scores and stops and um we weren't able to do that I mean like some of the rebounding Laura Miller had huge rebounds um they had a a rebound off free throws, those are difference in the game in a one possession game or a two possession game. Like it can't, um, it can't happen when those are times you have to bear down and get stops. And I think they made some big shots down the stretch. Um, and you know, those little things matter. The passion plays in the first quarter, the balls that we get taken away on our rebounds from not being tough, like those matter because those are the difference makers in games. And, and what is this sort of, um, you know, your goal was to make it to the title game and win a title. And for the second consecutive year, you're not making mm -hmm. it there. You know, what do you sort of, how do you go, you know, go home and you're going to obviously prepare for the NCAAs, but this is one goal this year that you haven't achieved. Yeah, it's, you know, it's hard. I, I felt like as we had opportunities, um, you know, just going through those droughts in the first half, I thought we started off strong. I thought both teams defensively were solid. I thought um, we were super aggressive. Um, but just not being able to convert, I think the challenge for us sometimes is, 
is just being able to have the confidence to take the shots. And, and, you know, we have different personnel. So, you know, we have more of shooting lineups, more of a defensive lineup and driving lineup. I think that, you know, the paint was really congested today. Um, so at times like we struggle, but I think both teams struggled offensively because we both played solid defense. Um, you know, it's unfortunate. I felt like this year we had a chance. I feel like, you know, we have some really good teams in our conference and, you know, Stanford's kind of the, the one that has a target on their back, but I felt like uh, this would be, we'd have opportunity to win this game. Um, you know, we beat UCLA earlier in the year is a long time ago. I think we're both better now, but I thought they played better to win today. Um, you know, we had to play a little bit, bit better. We had to take care of the ball a little bit more. We had to box out a little bit better at crucial times, stop the ball early in transition. Those are one of the keys to the game that we weren't able to do, especially against Michaela. So doing those things, you're not going to win games. And, um, you know, so they, they were the better team today. I mean, for us, we're not going to win a lot of games if we don't have more balance. And so shooters got to be ready to hit shots. Um, drivers have to be ready. Like people have to do their job and their roles. And I think, you know, we struggled at times and, and credit because it was good defense, but we have, we have to fix that. And we will before the NCAA tournament. Like I thought we were passing the ball, but we just didn't convert, but we still like, I'm proud of my team. Um, we played, we played hard. We didn't give up. We gave ourselves a chance up to a minute and a half. We're still playing hard going downhill. So we don't give up. It just wasn't our, our night. Um, and that happens sometimes. So nothing to do about it. Um, we have to bounce back and get better. We have a week to get better and prepare for the NCAA tournament. But, you know, unfortunately, we're going home. Hey, Adia. Um, hey. I, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, you guys, don't, the selection show isn't for another 10 days, and you guys mm -hmm. won't have a game for about two weeks. How will you approach this time between now and then? I mean, we have to get better. You know, the good thing is we're healthy, but there's some things we have to fix and we have the time to fix. I think just some offensive tweaks, um, you know, getting in, you know, getting shots up, um, you know, it's just, I think just finding that continuity. I think it's the defense isn't the issue. I think just fixing a couple of things on offense and which, which it's all fixable things. It's things that we can do, you know, um, and we're capable of doing it. You know, and I'm sure UCLA would like to have shot a better percentage too, but we both play good defense. I think the difference maker for them was Michaela, and she got to the free throw line 11 times. I mean, I thought the game was really physical for Aerie, and she got to the free throw line seven times. But I think overall, they shot more free throws. Um, you know, but very similar stat line. If you look across the stats, very similar. I thought we just had some crucial turnovers down the stretch that we can't have. We had to get some scores and convert, and we just weren't able to. So, um, you know, tough, but, but we'll get better. We'll use the time to get better, get back to basic things. And, um, you know, I'm glad we have the time actually before the tournament because we, we could use it right now. I know uh, Helena didn't score for the, the fifth straight game. I know we've been harping on this a lot lately, but how can you get her going and, and how important will that be for your team in the tournament? It's really important. I thought, um, you know, Maddie was really aggressive. Helena's passing up shots. She does other things, though. She's not only a shooter. I mean, she had six rebounds. I think last game she had seven. So she's doing other things. But we need her to be an aggressive shooter. I think, um, you know, in, let's see, 19 minutes, like, we, we got to get her more shots. But I think she can't pass up the shots. So I think for um, us is, like, her coming off being aggressive and like we continue to say that to her, but, but we need her to be, but she's a driver, she's a facilitator, but we do need her to loosen up the defense because just even her on the floor and Maddie, it does spread the floor and give passing lanes for um, Ari to drive downhill. But when they get the ball, we need to, they need to hit shots. I think Maddie had some good looks and those will fall. I'm very confident in that, but um, yeah, we need, we need to get Helena going. I thought Shana had a solid game. I think it was the challenging part was, you know, when, when they brought Shana in, she's very hard to cut off the dribble. She, she played well and she goes downhill. So then they went to zone. So then we put shooters in, but we, we have to go hit shots. And I think, you know, three for 17 from the three, we're better than that. And we got Helena, Maddie. So we have people that are capable of doing it. So I think just for us, we have to do it, you know, and a little bit more, a little stronger, more solid inside. I think, you know, could have been a big difference maker too. And uh, do you think uh, Helena is limited at all physically? I know she missed that game against ASU. Um, a little bit, but I, she's fine. Um, I think that, you know, I think sometimes, uh, you know, confidence. I think when you haven't scored in a couple games or you become more hesitant and tight, but she she's a great shooter. Even if she misses a 
three, I'd love for her to take three more. Um, she's she's able to take even some contested shots because she's a great shooter. So we need to get her going and find more shots for her. And, and we will. And I think that the two weeks off will be good for her. Um, but, you know, we're healthy. I don't think that's a factor in why she didn't score today. So, Coach, what did you have to say to your team after today's loss in the locker it, room? Well, we just talked about just, you know, there's some things we have to fix. And, um, you know, talked about definitely, you know, there's – in the really important times in the game down the stretch, we have to box out. I thought they came up with some big boards. Um, I felt like just the whole game just kind of, it felt they had 11 offensive boards. It felt like they had 20, um, but it was the manner in which they came or the fouls or like we have to go box out. I thought um, they came up with a lot more 50, 50 balls and passion plays. And, and that's what we do. And that, that was kind of, I, I don't like that. Um, but, uh, you know, we played hard. We have to get better. I talked about the areas we have to get better in and the things we have to address, but it's all fixable. So I'm not going to hang our head, my head because, or I don't want my team to hang our heads because we still have basketball to play. Um, you know, we got to get better in the next two weeks and we will, but get better and get ready for the tournament. The good thing is we're still playing. Our season's not over. So we've done a great job this year. Um, we don't give up. We have fight. We're going to fix the things that we're not good at. And um, we'll have more momentum going into the tournament, but I'm confident that we can fix what we need to and um, get things going.